How to perform Edge Connect ECOS upgrades. In this video, we'll cover key points to know before upgrading, where to find the release notes, disaster recovery, a brief note on downgrades, and finally, we'll demo the ECOS upgrade process in full. Upgrading your Edge Connect appliance is not service impacting until the point of rebooting into the new version. You can choose from three different upgrade modes, including some that can stage upgrades. These allow you to install the upgraded code, but hold short of rebooting into it. We'll cover those options later. Most appliances can be upgraded to the latest version, but always consult the release notes, as there may be important information to be aware of. This is especially true for Virtual Edge Connect, where minimum VM resource requirements may have changed in later versions. You can find our full documentation suites on our website, including deployment and user guides. Disaster recovery is built in, as Edge Connect maintains two disk partitions, one for the current running version, whilst the other partition holds the previous running version and is the target for the upgrade version to be installed into. If the upgrade fails, the appliance will boot back into the original version it was running before the upgrade. You cannot downgrade an appliance to a version that it didn't run before. There is a knowledge base article that covers this in detail. You can manually download the software from the support portal, where you can also find the release notes. However, it isn't necessary to download the software image, as we'll show later. There are three different ways to upgrade your Edge Connect hardware or virtual appliances. You can upgrade using the appliance's own web interface, or CLI, but the easiest method is via the orchestrator. On the left, choose which appliances you'd like to upgrade. You can choose one by clicking on it, several appliances by using Control and Click, or entire groups by clicking on the group name. If you leave the tree without any selections, all appliances will be queued for upgrade. Click on Administration and Upgrade Appliances. You'll see a list of available software versions to choose from on the left, and the list of appliances to be upgraded on the right. You can use the search box to filter down the list by entering a version number of interest, such as 9.2. Note that files beginning PD are pulled from the support portal and pushed to the appliances during the upgrade operation. You can also upload your own image, which you may have already downloaded from our support portal. Images manually uploaded do not have PD at the start. Once you have clicked on the image you wish to use for upgrade, the orchestrator will perform a compatibility test and provide the results on the right hand side. If you try to upgrade to the same version that is already installed, it will show no in red. Otherwise, if the checks pass, it will show yes in green. Lastly, you can choose from three different upgrade options. By default, Install and Reboot is selected. This will install the new version to the backup partition and reboot the appliance into the new version right away. You could opt for Install and Select Next Boot Partition which does everything except the reboot, allowing you to stage upgrades ahead of a change window. You could also choose Install Only, which installs the new version to the backup partition, but does not change the version to boot. When you are ready to proceed, click on Upgrade on the bottom right. The progress of each appliance upgrade is reported back in real time, showing each phase as it occurs. We've accelerated the process here, but it could take anything from five minutes to an hour or more, depending on available bandwidth. When the appliance reboots into the new version, you'll see the current text switches places, and the old current version is now the new backup version, the previous backup version having been overwritten. You can either continue watching the UI, or close the Upgrade Appliances dialog. Appliance upgrades will continue in the background and you can return to this dialog at any time, 
by clicking on Administration Upgrade Appliances. While the appliance reboots, it will momentarily be greyed out on the orchestrator tree. It can take a few minutes for it to return. You can then hover over the appliance to confirm the version number has changed. If you aren't upgrading all your appliances, you may see a minor yellow alarm reporting version mismatch. This is usually not cause for concern, but letting you know that not all appliances are running on the same version just yet. Finally, if an upgrade fails for any reason, you'll note that the appliance rebooted back to the version it was running before the upgrade. This is a failsafe to ensure that your appliance is always available. Contact our Technical Assistance Centre for help with resolving this. Thanks for watching.